To get started, hold down the Enter button to engage the settings. In this first setting, it's the SBU mode, Solar Battery Utility. Solar Battery Utility means it uses solar and battery, and if those are insufficient, it will switch to the utility. This is our common run mode that we use so that um, we can utilize the sun and the battery and only use the utility in the event that we actually need it. Setting 12 is the percentage battery charge that will result in the inverters switching to grid to carry the loads from the battery. Our value is set to 30%. Setting 13 determines the charge of the battery that will take over load from the grid when the battery is being charged. So if the battery is being charged up to 45%, once it hits 45%, it will start carrying the loads. Uh, that may mean the battery goes back down, but if there's solar, generally the solar charges up to 45, starts carrying the loads of the house, and then continues charging it. Setting 14 determines which source charges the battery, solar or grid. In CSO mode, solar is the priority, then grid. If sun were to go down, then the grid can charge it, but we restrict the time in which the grid can charge the battery to late at night, so this is not an issue during the day. Setting 21 is the emergency cutoff charge of the batteries, which will force the inverters to charge the battery and push everything to bypass line mode so that the grid will support the, the loads. If there is no grid, it will try to default to solar. If there is no solar, then it'll just shut down. Setting 49 determines when the grid can charge the battery. This is important because I like to keep the battery uh, charged up from falling into the emergency zone and I want to do that in the evening. During the day the solar will charge the battery, at night as the battery is discharging. When it gets too low or if it gets too low, uh, early mornings, I'd like to give it a little bit of a charge just to get it through to the sun. So I set this from uh, 1 in the morning to 4 in the morning, but what this setting actually does, 0, 1, 0, 4, will I have it charged from 1 to 5 in the morning. And it's because it charges from 1 a.m to 4.59 a.m. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, and uh, if you're interested and want to know more, uh, please subscribe and like the video. My intention is to continue doing this and sharing my experience and what I've learned. Um, and I'm happy to dig into any specific details anybody's curious about. Thank you.